Here's today's In Touch Devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 22 of Matthew chapter 14. Immediately afterward, Jesus compelled the disciples to get into the boat and to go ahead of him to the other side, while he sent the crowds away. After he had sent the crowds away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. And when it was evening, he was there alone. But the boat was already a long distance from the land, battered by the waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter responded and said to him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And he said, Come. And Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But seeing the wind, he became frightened. And when he began to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out with his hand and took hold of him and said to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind stopped, and those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, You are truly God's Son. Jesus spent time developing his disciples' faith because he knew it would be essential for the tasks ahead of them. For over three years, the twelve men attended classes, so to speak, where Christ was their instructor in both word and action. Sometimes he used verbal instruction, but many of the lessons were taught through demonstrations, such as healing the sick, casting out demons, feeding thousands, and calming the sea. At times, the disciples' understanding was slow or faltering, but Christ never gave up on them. He reproved them when they exhibited a lack of trust, but also commended progress. His objective was to establish their faith so He could accomplish His work in and through them. The Lord has the same goal for each of us who is a believer, to increase our faith so we can do the work He's planned for us. Faith building is a necessity for every Christian, and God has two primary means of going about this. Scripture tells us what to believe about Him, and tests place us in difficult situations that stretch us to believe and rely on God instead of our own understanding. Each time we believe Him, our faith grows.